Okay, first, let me apologize for, uh, for the lower resolution that I recorded this in. I'm just trying to work around another problem. It takes a 10 minute video, it took almost 30 minutes to upload the very first one I did. And I'm just trying to see if I can <coughs> deal with that later on. Anyways, this is uh, my observations from uh, playing around in my, my, different, uh, my different plate configurations. Uh, I was just experimenting with different different combinations. And you notice I took my original plate configuration and I took it down to five plates. And I also removed uh, one of the washers, so it was only separated with two of those nylon washers per plate rather than three. I wasn't impressed with that. I mean, it didn't it didn't start making the neutral start working. I think what I need to do is I have to. I have to do something to this finish to make that work. I th and from what I'm trying to accomplish, this is this is probably overkill, and it's an awful lot of work to do the way it built it the way I built it. You know, four bolts instead of two. I mean, I wanted to eat. I wanted to. I wanted to control. I wanted the place to be very close together, and I wanted to be able to control that so they wouldn't warp and short out. So, I'm not necessarily pleased with that. I'm. I, pro I probably will double back on that one and, and go back to it, but for the time being, uh, I went on, moved forward, and I started out with a uh, a uh, different kind of a configuration. I was just wanting to explore what the uh, what just putting in some uh, plates in here that have uh, multiple sharp edges. Uh, this one started out as a as a two screw. This is actually my first one. The first one I built, and it generated so much gas relative to the plates. Well, plates in this pretty much were the same for the amp rating, so it was generating the same amount of gas. But what I did notice is that all the production was focused mostly along these along the screws. Well, obviously that's where it's going to be. I added two more screws to see that would do, and the reason why I'm not using this now is because these this combination right here and the current uh, solution that I have it draws more current it'll draw more current than my uh, my battery charger will allow so I can't really stick with this I got a, I got an idea what I want to do with this uh, if I get a bigger power supply I'll probably go forward with that but for the time being what I ended up doing is I double back to my uh, first screw type uh, this this cap right here came from a uh, Penn's oil oil can, and unfortunately I didn't clean it very well, and it loaded up some of my uh, solution with some deposits. So I had to clean that. Uh, this one right here, this cap came from uh, uh, one of the green bottle sodas. Yeah, I'll explain which one a little later. But the reason why I picked this one is because it's it's, it's um, Pretty, pretty firm. The uh, I, another cap I saw that I like better. It's even more rigid than this one. Uh, but uh, I'll go with this one for the time being. Anyways, I just want to let you see what see what this is like. Uh, let me just turn it on. No gust, no glory, right? Excuse me. I'm uh, plugging them in. It's buzzing. No current to speak of. Not zapping through my fingers. And I'm just tip it in there just a little bit. You see, as soon as I touch it, it starts going. The more surface area I get in the in the uh, in the solution, the more it wants to fire up and take off. I throw this in there. And you see right away it's, it's going good. Let me unplug it again. Let it stop. I'm hoping that you can see this work better. There, plugging it back in. Now see, on my solution, I've got too much uh, sodium hydroxide added to my solution, I believe. <coughs> I think what I would like to do 
as I go with the, another plate configuration with, with more of these screws, but reduce the amount of solution. Notice that this tank will warm up pretty quick, and I, and I'm you know, I'm at the most I'm ever really drawn is about four amps. One thing about this last very last one <coughs> is that I can leave it on the high settings. <coughs> excuse me, I can leave it on the high settings, and it won't trip out my uh, thermal. So I'm 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 actually drawing less current than I was earlier, and it's basically it's basically the same solution. I did I did dump oh, when I say dump it out I mean I, I did filter it. When it poured it through a coffee filter to get all the solids out of it, clean the tank. So I have a relatively clean starting point. Uh, yeah, I mean uh, it seems to be doing okay. I wish you could see this. See how it's just coming off the end of those, coming off of the end of those screws. But I believe what I'm really trying to point out is that. The same amount of current, well, relatively close to the same amount of current is is being used generating all of this uh, hydroxy, you know, hydrogen and oxygen. But uh, I didn't need a real custom, I didn't need a real uh, sophisticated plate to do it. So I don't know if I, uh, I mean, obviously this particular design won't st won't stand up under time. You know, if you left it run like this for. For years, it would probably uh, somehow or another fail because the way the connectors, the way the connections are to the top of the screws, they're not. Uh, they're basically pushed against the plastic, and eventually that plastic will warm up and soften, and it'll actually make the connection bad or make the connection poor. And, and all that's for is just for testing and to get an idea of where the direction I like to go to next. But uh, I just thought I'd let you know that I hadn't stopped messing with it. I'm just tankering around and I think what this if anything this this particular uh, arrangement will be uh, what I'll use for when I'm trying to do a pulse width uh, when, I start, when I start working on pulsing because that way I have a, a standard to work come from so I you know, know what what brute force does and that way I can measure if I make any gains or losses on pulse but uh, you know, this is more or less. This is actually brute force, and I did confirm. I did confirm that's definitely a halfway rectifier. It's not a. It's not a full a full wave bridge. So I'm getting. Um, basically, I'm only getting one half of the AC cycle. I should put the. I should put the. I got one of those kilowatts, and I'm gonna put it in line with it. And that way, you can see the total usage, which includes it, which would include the watts lost in the trans in the uh, power supply. <coughs> But uh, I won't worry about that until I can actually start measuring how much gases I'm actually making. I don't really believe I'm making that much. I mean, if, I'm, if anything, I'm probably making. Uh, I don't know if I was to if I was to guess, I'd probably be a quarter of a liter per minute, maybe. It's it's not particularly imp impressive. And you can see the stuff coming off, but I, I do have a problem with the with the. Uh, the oxygen and hydrogen getting uh, it's getting uh, dissolved into the water as opposed to being released off the surface. Now, one thing I noticed with this particular design, <coughs> which you might, you probably may or not may not see it. Well, I can't see it. Right there in the middle, I drilled a hole in it, and when I actually held these things vertically, the uh, all the bubbles wanted to the the bulk of the uh, hydroxy wanted to go up through the center of the cap, and what the cap did is it, it concentrated the smaller bubbles, allowed them to c merge together into larger bubbles, and once they were larger bubbles, they wanted to release from the uh, solution much faster uh, or much easier. And what I noticed when I did that is I didn't have near as much clouding. <coughs> I didn't have near as much clouding of the solution as I do now. So I, I, I got mixed opinions. I want to have my pins horizontal, but I also want to be able to condense my. I want to. I want to. I want to allow the the, the bubbles to to. Uh, I want the bubbles to um, opportunity to merge together before they get dissolved in solution. So maybe what I'll need to do is add a. Uh, maybe what I'll do is I'll add a funnel at the top of this thing with a small small or uh, small orifice. Allow it. Allow the bubbles to get. Concentrated together and give them a better opportunity to get released.